New this morning, if you're paying for high speed internet, your computer could still be lagging behind, which is why we're showing you how to accurately test your internet to see what's really causing it to slow down. Was testing both the download and upload speeds. We've heard from dozens of people on Facebook complaining about their slow internet speeds. Erica says, I'm getting a third of what I'm paying for. Marcy says, 95% of the time it's super slow. And Jason added, it always has been an up to speed. Plans are sold up to certain speeds, meaning it's the max. The average could be a lot slower. It's like water pressure. They can't control exactly how much is being used by whom. Want to test your speed? Well, with Cox and CenturyLink sites, you're linked to speedtest.net. But computer expert Ken Colburn prefers using test sites not affiliated with service providers like testmy.net. It's a much more realistic way to test your internet connection. Taken just minutes after the first test, this showed much slower speeds, about half the first one. To get an accurate average, don't use Wi-Fi. Hardwire the computer to the modem and test repeatedly over time. Well, you need to do it at three different times a day, at least three days in a row. So you get at least nine different tests, and then you average those out. And slow speeds may have nothing to do with your service provider. Is there a computer virus? Is it a very busy time of day? Whatever speed test you use, CenturyLink and Cox say it could be impacted by older equipment, number of devices used, websites accessed, and location. Now, according to the website broadbandsearch.net, Tulsa has an average download speed of 159 megabits per second. So if you're not getting that and you're paying for a whole lot more, you should probably reach out to your service provider for an explanation. Definitely. There's nothing more frustrating than slow internet. I know. Nothing to ruin your day. No, really? More than that. <laughs>